Hey up everyone, welcome to another episode. It's midwinter in UK and in uh, recent days we've had quite a significant snowfall. Thankfully that's melted away. But winter time in UK for an air gunner means one of a few things. But it's prime time for controlling grey squirrels. In the month of December, they're busy scampering around trees, chasing each other around. And come January time, once breeding time starts to finish, you start visiting feeder. Now we're shooting squirrels, if you want ethical shots, and the red dot on that image is where you should be aiming when you're targeting squirrels. So I arrived in Hyde for about seven o'clock in the morning. I had a few concerns I'd let me feed her, run low on wheat, but thankfully there's still some left in it, which will have kept squirrels interested. This was an early morning visitor, and you can see I've got ATM 4K Pro Scope, still in night mode. I've been doing this around dawn, although the image is black and white, the clarity of the image is brilliant, and it's paying dividends for first light hunts. I watched this cock pheasant just mosing on, having a free feed. Not long later, there's some movement that catches my eye. I've raised my rifle, I've got camcorder at the ready as well. This first segment of footage you'll see is from camcorder. What we do now is we swap over to ATM 4K. You can see it's in night mode, lining up my shot. Although the camera picked up a decent image, it was still quite dark in the morning. So I'm really pleased I left it in night mode just for the first 10 20 minutes. It's a nice clean dispatch, first squirrel on the ground. So this is the usual combination. Got ultimate sporter, 0.177 caliber. This rat works tuned. And it's top weight ATM 4K Pro Scope, 3 by 14. Many of you have seen this before, but this is fit new comers to the channel. It's sub 12 foot pound. And it's shooting at about 11.7 foot pounds. Pellet of choice. GSB exacts 0 0.177. 8.44 grain. When I last visited this feeder a couple of months ago, there wasn't much activity. Squirrels were running around in trees, weren't too interested in feeder. Even bird life weren't too interested. I think there was still too much natural food. So it's nice to see this robin. I saw other birds as well in that morning. Great to see him having a free feed and topping up through winter months. The woods are alive this particular morning. There's movement everywhere. And out of nowhere, another grey squirrel makes its way onto the feeder. See me slowly shoulder rifle, poke it through camo net at front, and I get ready to take aim. I've now switched over to day mode, this nice crystal clear picture.
Square squirrel took a 0.177 caliber pellet. Straight tip brain. It hit woodland floor. Little bit of thrashing about as new run shut down it body. And it was game over for this grey squirrel. About half an hour before this next clip that you're going to see, they had a clattering through trees. Two buzzards flew through woodland, entangled in each other. I'm positive they're probably around about breeding time where they're pairing up as well, and it were a courting ritual that I saw. A little bit later on in the morning, this common buzzard, around about 20 yards from me. I watched it for a few minutes. I thought it was going to steal one at squirrels, and it'd be welcome to take it. I wouldn't have been begrudged it a meal. They were only there a little while, and it took flight. A little bit of lulling action, plenty of activity in woodland. Now watching this cock pheasant, just passing time and as you do. The top left hand corner of the screen, you see a little black figure make its way towards me squirrels. I believe this was one at farm cats, I do see him in this area. This farm house is only probably 500 to 1000 yards away. They're just like me and you. The natural hunters and they'll be stalking edge row looking for whatever it could find they had a good sniff had a good look at squirrel they were thinking about it but eventually just took off and left them where they lay in distance heard a familiar clatter and then a chattering I knew they were magpie in the area, so I shouldered rifle. It came down to investigate two squirrels that were lying on woodland floor. This magpie gave me a little bit of a run around. As you can see from the movement, I tracked it one way, tracked it another way. And it took about 30 seconds to a minute, of just being patient, waiting for my opportunity. And eventually it presents itself. At this point, I thought I'd miss my chance, but then it's at the base of the tree, only to move behind the tree again. So I'm waiting, anticipating that it's going to pop back out to the left hand side of this tree, and it does. Magpies are wary, quarry, very jittery, they don't give you long to take your opportunities. I flew into this bush, I was convinced it was still there. They were just hovering my crosshairs where I thought it might come back into land. It's all about being patient, waiting for your opportunity. I know it's still there because pheasant's looking a bit wary and it pops out. Really interested in these squirrels. I mentioned this shot in a previous video, straight between wings, it's whole vital organs, there's no breast meat, there's no muscle, there's no bone, and it's straight through onto target. Well, this is first trip in field for Brian Art Artemis T18 torch. I've used it this morning, find my way through woods. So far really impressed, I tried all features. But it did what it was supposed to do this morning. Give me safe passage into the woods. I'll put it through a proper field test, probably take it feral shooting like I did T28. And we'll see what it's all about in real conditions.
I've heard some commotion in one of the trees about 15 yards away, I believe, at a slight angle. I'm just scanning now, trying to make out what it were. Then I get a positive ID on my quarry. clinically placed headshot, you heard it clattered to woodland floor and I was pleased with that shot. After dispatching that woody I decided to go and have a clear up. I've got two squiddles, a magpie and a woody on woodland floor. And my instincts tell me that that's going to put off any other further quarry from venturing anywhere into my target range. As you should always do, just give your squirrels a little nudge with your foot. Just make sure they are fully dispatched. Last thing you want to do is get bit by one of these. If you've ever prepared one, either for table or taxidermy, you'll know inside the size of the incisors are huge and they give you a nasty bite. I don't fancy going to doctors and getting a tetanus either. I don't know about yourselves. I thought that might be my last opportunity in the morning. Then I heard a, a rustle in trees about 10 yards in front of me. I spot this fella hanging about. Nice simple shot little bit of old over to account for close range. It's another clinical dispatch. Not a bad way to finish my session. Woody, three squirrels and a magpie. Shot placement were perfect. That one just above eye. This one at base it here. The lights out, they didn't feel a thing. I'm happy with that, really good session, time to get home, get nice and warm. Just one last job before I set off home, top feed up, it's got a bit out floor, that keeps pheasants and little birds interested, that activity will attract squirrels, perfect, I'll be alright for about another four weeks now.